And we'll start by loosening bolting, bolting, loose, loose, loosely. I don't want, why do I keep saying loosening? Well, let's loosen up a bit. Loosely. Loosely. Riding your bike with cleats and clipless pedals will help you get more power when you pedal. But of course, you will need to install your cleats to your shoes first. We're using a three bolt system for pedals and cleats, which is a common setup for road bike pedals. And we'll start by loosely bolting the cleats to the shoes. Next, we'll need to find how the foot rotates in a natural position. This is different for every rider. One way to find your rotation is to march in place a few steps. Then, look at the angle at which your feet are resting. You'll want to rotate the cleat so that it allows your foot to sit in this position when it's clipped into the pedal. Now we'll position the cleat so that the ball of your foot rests in front of the pedal's axle. Put on your shoe and find the ball of your foot, which is the bony part on the inside of your foot. Using a pencil, sticker, or tape, mark where that spot is on your shoe. Shift your cleat forwards or backwards until the middle of the cleat falls about one centimeter behind the mark. Tighten the bolts as tightly as possible, without stripping the screws, to secure that cleat in place. Really use your gym membership here. You may want to change the angle of your cleats once you've tried riding in them. So don't head out on that century until you've had a chance to test them out. Last step, clip those well-fitting cleats into your pedals and go for a ride. To find out which shoes and pedals are right for you, or for more help with fitting your cleats, visit trekbikes.com or stop by your local Trek retailer. Cheers!